So, oh, okay, that chair is a lot lower than I expected. Okay, here's the legs for the chair, all right. Oh, now another one, and another one, and another one. What's up, YouTube? My name is Muscle Man Malcolm, and this is my first video ever of living up in DC, so that's why this room is quite empty and I can hear my own echo. Welcome to the review. Let's start. Oh, voice cracks, amazing, right? So, WB Money in the Bank was last night, and I can tell you that they said that it was gonna be the greatest Money in the Bank pay-per-view of all time, and basically what they meant by that is we're trying to beat out 2011. Money in the Bank as a whole had a lot of botches, had a lot of talking spots, but a lot of great matches. So I made reactions to Money in the Bank but I actually fell asleep like right where it got interesting because I fell asleep right during the Cena and Styles match. Not because they're boring, because, well, I just, I'll sleep. I'll show you guys a little bit of it. What's up? Let's get the jokes out the way, all right? I know you guys are looking at this background and they're like, boy, where are you? Yes, I am on the set of Lion King. Don't you dare be sour. They make sure you ain't booty. Drink it in. Bunaki. Number one! Said Deep Six again. I did this last time. Looking for revenge. Also number 16. Also number 16. Muscle Man can't sing. Baron one, thank you. And the few now! Yeah, high five me and celebratory victory. Put your hand on the screen now! Paulo, stop talking so loud. I can hear you say, come here, Seamus. So John, stop talking so loud. Oh, so cool. Oh, there's the chills again. This is getting jazzy. Okay, so basically I woke up. And I saw Ambrose holding money in the bank, so yeah, I mind blast. The tag team fatal four way. Amazing, a lot of botches, but amazing. There was a lot of spots that are awesome, and then there's just that one moment at the end that was just, I, I cringed so hard. I don't think I've ever cringed that hard watching a New Day segment since Kofi twerked for the first time. That right there creeped me out a little bit. Big E basically picks up Carl Anderson, he has him the big ending, and Luke Gallows is kind of just, just standing there. Who needs to? I'm just, I'm just waiting for Big Cass. It was weird, but hey, I don't care. New day one. So we got Sheamus and Apollo Crews, which I was looking forward to this match more than anyone else because I'm just a really big Apollo fan. I feel like he will win the US or IC title by the end of the year. The entire match itself felt very like brawl like, you know, like they want to really hurt each other, but it's just the finish was just, ah. Why? You take a good match, you mess it up. A victory's a victory, so Apollo, A. So I'll say with Baron Corbin, I didn't really watch it. I watched YouTube videos. I did not watch that match at all. I saw a couple parts that were really interesting. Just like the whole deep six, and then, you know, you, you saw me seeing Drake already. I, mean, I can do it again, but I'm not. I wait till the album drops. It's summer 16. The type of match as a whole, it was great, and I'm glad that Baron won, and they can end this feud. Please. 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 Raw, SmackDown, probably, made a bit, probably. I mean, you guys, you two, you. They went to every venue but NXT at this point, and a Divas women, no. Women's tag match is, no. No, 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 no. That's boring, that's boring, that's boring, that's boring written all over it. No, could have been anyone else just not, no, 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 I've even done that, I, I, I cringe at that, no, that was boring, but Natalia turned heel at the end was great, but you know, also to think about, I was like, okay, so Natalia's heel, um, nah, because like, well, when she turns back face, which, give it eight months, probably, how's she gonna really, Turn. AJ and Cena. Oh my God, that was amazing. That's actually when I fell asleep. I was tired, not because of them. Phenomenal. That's doesn't get any better than that. Three things only. Cena, do you want a microphone? Because you were talking loud as crap. But Cena had AJ up for the attitude adjustment, and then he kind of hit the ref. How the ref fell, bump the referee took. Shawn Michaels quality. And the third thing, the club. Just about everyone else is really gonna say that. So. You guys already know, they jumped in, hit the magic killer, and then AJ won like that. I'd rather see AJ just win clean, and then, you know, Cena wins Battleground, and AJ wins at SummerSlam, but what they might be doing is like bringing back the World Heavyweight Championship, putting it on one of those dudes, and then SummerSlam, they're wrestling for the world title, so whichever happens, it happens. Just let AJ win at SummerSlam, let Cena win at Battleground. I'm going to Battleground, by the way! The Money to Pay ladder match. Okay, look. 
I wrote out a list, although I'm just too stupid to try to remember anything I wrote. Jericho's tights, it had goat on it. It just fits everything about Chris Jericho to have those on. I like it. Uppercut party, super kick party, cannonball party, halupa kick party, kinda. About four times, three times, two, something like that. How do you spell huluva? Does that start with like an H? Or is this like one of those weird words that starts with like a G you just don't know? I'm not gonna look it up either. Someone tell me. Del Rio looked amazing this entire match. Now, he's a guy that absolutely no one cared about being in this match whatsoever, that no one put any odds on him even trying to win this. Almost erased just about a bunch of just every bad thing he's done so far, because he did amazing in that match. Everything he did was spot on in that match. So Del Rio did amazing, I don't know, like motivation because you're getting page or just like life is just going your way right now. The sorrow jumps off the ladder, corkscrew uppercut onto Kevin Owens. I leave it at that. That was awesome. The sorrow swing on Del Rio and then Cesaro swing on Jericho, but then flings Jericho into a ladder. Again, Cesaro, everything about Kevin Owens is awesome. I don't have better words to use. I'll keep using my third grade language. JBL's commentaries. I know, whoa, 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 whoa. Talking about Dean Ambrose at least was actually pretty good because every time Ambrose did something crazy or did something weird or just like somewhere out there because he has something going on in his head weird. His commentary, every time he did something, JBL always put over the fact that it was like this lunatic fridge. So I really like the fact that JBL is really working on putting Dean Ambrose over, especially because, you know, we know what happened later on that night. Overall, Dean Ambrose wins Money in the Bank. So like, it was almost so obvious that he was going to win it, that it was so obvious that it wasn't going to be him. Because like, it's like, oh, that's so dead on clear, they're not going to do that. Someone really out there like Sammy or Cesaro or maybe Jericho, but they put it on Ambrose. So they actually went through with this. I'm like, oh my God. My mindset towards certain things, like I never even thought Ambrose could be a world champion. I thought he's just gonna be like a Razor Ramon kind of guy, just wins their continental a lot, but still everyone loves him. But he won, it's all like, oh, oh, okay, he might be like Damian Sam now, so maybe this doesn't mean anything. The world title match, Roman is set. So what you want about Roman, he's gotten a lot better in the ring and on promos. You cannot deny that what bit at all. Roman went for the spear and missed and just ran into the barricade and then Roman goes for a spear, Seth jumps up, pedigree. I was like, holy crap. That was awesome. And then Seth picked up Roman, went for like a little power bomb into the turnbuckles. Roman used that momentum, Superman punch. That again was awesome. I know a lot of people hate Roman, but give the man credit because that was amazing. And then Seth Rollins gets a clean win. No crap, nothing. He just wins. I was like, man, Vince, someone put something in your coffee. What? Roman? He, he didn't look strong? What? And then Ambrose cashed in. Oh my freaking God. I thought they were gonna wait until like maybe closer to SummerSlam and then Ambrose was gonna like get somewhere involved and it was gonna be like this big triple threat. But no, he just cashed in, he beat Seth and he won the title. And I, I really wish I recorded because it was basically me in my chair, kind of just like I picked up the chair while I'm sitting in, I'm just hopping around like this. Like, oh my God. That's how I reacted because I, I never once thought Ambrose would ever win the world title. I told you, I thought he's just gonna be an Intercontinental Champion like Razor Ramon, like William Regal or British Bulldog, or Owen Hart, someone like that. Like I just didn't think he could win the world title. What? <laughs> So that's my feelings on Money in the Bank that the overall pay-per-view was the best so far 2016. And Roman made me feel bad when going to Battleground because after that, I don't know how he's gonna get any better. You guys got three weeks, so you better make it right because I know if I go there and I know you put on some crappy matches, if I even see an Eva Marie picture, I will scream. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and always, I'm not gonna scream. Subscribe! Rusev and Titus. It was it was a match. Goodbye.